Good evening. My name is Rick Herman, and I'm with Gene Shelton this evening, the CEO of On With Life. Good evening, Gene. Hi, Rick. Well, another event. Yes, and thank you all for joining us for our sixth annual Celebrate Life event. We are so excited to join you, even if it is virtually. And uh, we also want to do a big shout out to Don and Charlene Lamberti for their sponsorship. So thank you very much. On With Life's goal is to become the best at brain injury rehabilitation. And we're very close to that right now. We offer so many services and offer our community so much support. And our goal is to support individuals with stroke, Parkinson's, uh, traumatic brain injury, and help them get on with life. Yes, indeed. And I'm so glad to have the opportunity to host this evening. Those of you that have attended the in-person event in the past have probably seen me there. And I'm very pleased to say that I have a special story about On With Life as well. You see, my mom had a stroke a number of years ago. And through that process, there was many questions that were not answered. And out of nowhere, a gentleman named Jerry Fain calls and said, Rick, we need to get your mom to On With Life. And we need to do it quickly. And he was right. And the care and the, the progress that we saw through that process was something that has stuck with me today. And when I was asked to help host this and do the auction, I'm always eager to do that because I have seen the benefits from On With Life. Gene, what can you tell us about what's going on at On With Life? Well, at On With Life, it's been quite busy this year. Um, we have uh, been constantly vigilant in terms of dealing with COVID-19. It's an issue that's affected nearly uh, everybody and every aspect of the care we provide. From our uh, staff who have dealt with issues at home and at work, uh, our person served and our families, We've had to change about everything, and I'm proud to say we have gotten through and will continue to get through this, this huge crisis in our community. There are other things, though. Uh, during all of the pandemic work, uh, we still have provided outstanding rehabilitation. We've provided services uh, while, at the same time, becoming family members or replacement family members because of no visiting. And we just have strived so hard to keep our high standards up uh, to the point where our satisfaction and our quality of life still continues to exceed our expectations. This year, we've joined uh, six other organizations to create a foundation to advance brain injury rehabilitation and research. Uh, I'm very proud of this work. It involves uh, organizations crossing 26 different states and our goal is to be transparent and share best practices regarding brain injury rehabilitation. Uh, additionally, we've continued to explore assistive technology in our facilities, looking for ways to make return to home safe and meaningful, and we continue to strive for ongoing work to support families as our person served return home and need support from families and others. So I think that covers about everything that I can think of. I can tell you, the one of the things that I've enjoyed on the uh, events that I have attended are the stories. And I think we're obviously going to see a number of those this evening. But to see people coming in, in, in many cases, critical conditions, and then watch them walk out that door, and the victories that, that you guys get to share, that's always a lot of fun. And I want to thank everybody this evening, and obviously for your support with On With Life and those that have been impacted by a brain injury or a neurological condition. While we know this is not the way we would have hoped to gather, we will still look forward to a wonderful event and help celebrate and on behalf of On With Life. A few logistics on how this evening will go. We will share a few stories and hear some updates from those that On With Life have impacted. We will obviously share ways to support the mission and the programs as well. Our goal is to raise sufficient funds to support the various needs of our programs and our persons served. This includes advanced technology, specialized equipment, facility space. There are so many different ways that we adapt who we are to meet the special needs of the persons we serve, uh, and your help is needed. So thank you very much for your support. Speaking of, Gene, I heard the auction bidding is going very well. Don't forget to keep those bids going forward. Throughout the evening, please take a picture and share on social media using the hashtag, hashtag OWL, celebrate life. We can't say thank you enough. 
your your support has made on with life what it is today and we appreciate your continued support thank you gene we'll see you back here at the end of the event to help us wrap up, wrap up everything to get started we will first see a short clip from samantha a young lady in law school who ended up at on with life discovering after discovering a brain tumor after the clip we'll get to hear an update from samantha herself i was in law school near the top of my class the doctors had done a radiation procedure on a tumor in my brain it hadn't worked. After surgery, I couldn't feel my left side. I essentially had to learn to walk again, which can be solely attributed to On With Life. Before On With Life, they said I might not become a lawyer. I said, watch me. Hello from Samantha Nordstrom. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your support for a program that truly means so much to me. When you last heard from me, I had just finished law school. I had just taken the bar, found out that I passed, and I was participating in a really, really great judicial clerkship at the Iowa Court of Appeals. Since then, I've, you know, been doing the lawyering thing. I work for another state agency now, and I'm really thriving. One of the really great things that I appreciate about On With Life is that I've been able to come back and avail myself to the outpatient program and everybody over there, which is really great. Outpatient has given me an opportunity to keep working on recovering from my surgery. And, you know, even though I've said goodbye to the inpatient program, it still feels like I have a really good relationship with On With Life. Because of On With Life, you can watch me continue to excel in my legal career. And I look forward to staying in touch with On With Life in the years that come. You know, it's so great to get that update from Samantha. And I'd like to now introduce Andrea Woodard. Andrea, tell us a bit more about what who you are and what connection you have with On With Life. Thanks, Rick. Really glad to be here tonight. Yes, supporting it's nice On With to have Life. You here. I am currently serving as the secretary on the On With Life Foundation Board. I was first introduced to On With Life in 2016 when one of my brothers suffered a traumatic brain injury. And uh, over the years, have had an opportunity to give back to the organization uh, in in ways such as the foundation board and eventually you'll be hearing about a new endeavor where i'll be co-chairing a fundraising effort so we'll hear more about that at a later date but brian spent five months at the organization in the inpatient wing and despite living in des moines myself i had no idea on with life existed so what a treasure we have right here in our backyard discovering the organization was both definitely the best thing for our family are for Ryan and we really couldn't have found a better support system. And we're going to get to talk to them a little later, yes, correct? Yes, we will. Well, that'll be awesome. You know, it's obviously great to have you here. We're going to hear more about uh, you and your family, as I said, but now we're going to see a clip from Danielle who isn't letting the fact that she suffered a traumatic brain injury slow her down. I was driving home from church. I hit a patch of ice, ran into a police barricade and suffered a traumatic brain injury. On with Life was definitely the place I needed to be in those moments. They said I had to relearn my ABCs. I said, watch me. Hi, um, I'm Danielle uh, Brazant. Checking in uh, with you guys with what I've been up to. It's been a crazy year, as everybody knows. I've been busy. So this year, uh, something exciting that I've been up to, I submitted an application to uh, give a TED Talk. Backstory, uh, my father actually passed away right at the beginning of the year, and none of us knew he was sick. It was a shock. So none of us got to say goodbye. It just ended like that, and that's how life goes. Like, my own experience uh, being at Almost Life, I almost died, and uh, just in the initial hours and days after my accident, uh, when everybody didn't know, uh, my parents thought, my mother said, like, they thought they might lose me, and I was unconscious, so they wouldn't have gotten the chance to say goodbye to me. So it's all, it's all this, this strange circle we are all living in. So that's the title of my TED Talk, The Circle of Life. All of Life is one of the best uh, rehabilitation uh, centers in the entire country. And I was so blessed 
that it was right in my own backyard. Thank you for supporting this wonderful organization. Thank you for allowing people like me, uh, brain injury survivors, traumatic brain injury survivors, get a second chance at life and a second chance to thrive as I did. Thanks to the help that I got with On With Life, I was able to say, watch me uh, relearn my ABC, then watch me write my very own book. And now in 2021, I say, watch me uh, give my TED Talk. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching and just watch, continue to watch me. Thank you, Danielle. And uh, we'll look forward to that TED Talk. You know, sponsorship support of this event is so appreciated. And as Jean said earlier, we would like to give a special thanks to Don and Charlene Lamberti. Their support is significant and appreciated. We are grateful for each and every sponsor this evening. Support from these individuals and businesses made this year's event possible and allows On With Life to continue its important message, mission. We'd also like to thank our, our platinum sponsors this evening, ABB Aldor, Acumold, American Equipment let me try it again. American Equity Equi Investment, Carmen and Steve Bowl, Casey's General Store, Inc., Community State Bank, Country Landscapes, Edencrest, Right Dose Pharmacy, Megan and Rocky Anderson, Carrie and Josh Dixon, Liz Fenstermacher, First National Bank, Galligan Law, PC, Katie and Kelly Grow, Snap-on Tools, Kidder Advisors, Newport, Midwest Heritage Nationwide, Kate Benson Larson, and Ross Larson. McGroff Construction, Matt Rainey Allstate Agency, Reynolds and Reynolds Inc., Runyon Gibbons and Company PLC, Spavia Ankeny, The Iowa Clinic, Shelley and Jeff Wangsness, and Kelly, or Kathy and Mel Weatherwax. We would also like to give a special thanks to our silver sponsors, Ace Hardware Ankeny, Amerigroup, Ankeny Funeral Home, Ankeny Sanitation, Broadlands Medical Center, Des Moines hy -Vee Stores, the DLR Group, Ace, HPC LLC, Lamberti, Goki, and Luchki, PC, Gene Shelton, Snyder & Associates, Inc., Studio A Designs, Deborah and Douglas West, Windsor Windows and Doors. Hi, I'm Gail McGahey. And I'm Shane, Gail's husband. We are uh, Baldor Industrial Solutions, a small 28 person company uh, based in Des Moines, uh, but also with an office and warehouse in uh, Rogers, Minnesota. We sponsor On With Life for many reasons, <clears throat> but uh, the primary reason would be, would be because um, of the uh, great work that is done at On With Life for persons who have suffered a traumatic brain injury. And not only am I Gail, HR manager from Baldor Industrial Solutions, I'm Gail, PT at On With Life. We find it incredibly important to sponsor Celebrate Life for many reasons, but to make sure that we're giving back to a local community, our local charity, and keeping it within the community. I've, we've seen so many incredible stories all throughout the community um, through On With Life, and we are honored to sponsor and to continue sponsoring what we find so very, very important um, as a mission for On With Life, but also as a mission for um, donors and supporters to continue to, to support, and, and, and we need that for sure. Yep, so we are very honored and humbled to sponsor On With Life. But also, happy wife. Happy life, mostly. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gail and Shane. That Shane is a smart man. Next, we'll see a clip and watch a pre-recorded message from Chase, who had a life-changing injury at age 11, and his family. I just got done with football practice. I suffered a massive shock. I couldn't move my rest out of my body, and I couldn't speak. Almost like gave me hope. They gave me back life because I almost lost that. Some say I would never play sports again. I said, watch me. Hey everyone, it's the Ashlands from Wadena. 
I'm Kenny. This is Rizzo. What's your name? I'm Brack. I'm Chase. And I'm Lane. And here's Wrigley. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to thank you for letting us pop on here tonight to talk with you guys. It's been a while. Some things have changed. Um, but things have been going really well here at our house and with Chase. I've been doing like working, playing basketball, lifting, um, just having fun. Big thing, he uh, he is 16 now, so he is driving. He just celebrated his five year from when he had a stroke a couple days ago. So um, we would have never imagined him being where he's at now if he would have asked us five years ago. Um, so we're very thankful. And so is he, I'm sure, yeah. um, you know, and with, on with life, we couldn't have done it without him. Remember when you had to cook supper in the kitchen? I don't. <laughs> and now he's using those, uh, lessons cause he's now working here in our town at the local restaurant cooking. He's a cook now. Yeah. I'm sure Stephanie, the therapist would be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, I remember that. You remember that, yeah. You made us all spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very good. Oh, you remember it too, Brad? Yeah. Because of On With Life, you can watch me graduate high school and graduate college. Thanks, On With Life. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> You know, I love seeing the impact On With Life has had with so many people like Chase. That's really what it's all about right here. Speaking of impact, check out the following video to hear some of the ways supporters like you have impacted On With Life over the past year. Thanks to the support of the Foundation, we were able to purchase and hand out more than 500 helmets in Ankeny, Coralville, and Glenwood to help us advocate for helmet awareness in Iowa. I'm just hanging out here with Jeremy and we're talking about everything he loves about these new smart TVs we are upgraded to this summer. Um, personally, Jerry, you like Netflix quite a bit. Um, YouTube he uses on a daily basis to listen to music, watch funny videos. You love your new TV, right? My name is Kate. I'm the occupational therapist at Honor Life in Coralville. Just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much to the foundation for assisting in purchasing the Fit Me and Music Love combo through Club Free Out. I use this a lot with my post stroke and TBI patients to work on coordination and timing. So these are our new stands and tablets that we received this spring from the foundation. I think we've got three tablets and three stands. Um, they've kind of been a game changer for us during COVID as far as um, allowing our person serve to keep that communication with their families through video chats. Like I said, these have been a really big game changer and they've kind of opened up some new ways that we communicate with families that I know um, people are gonna wanna continue long after COVID has passed. Your donations to the foundation have helped us to obtain devices to assist person serve with bowel and bladder concerns. This underserved area helps On With Life stand apart and gives our person served more independence and confidence in the community. On behalf of the pelvic floor trained therapists, we want to thank you for supporting our program. Thank, thank you for your donations and support. Thank you for all the wonderful PPE. On behalf of Almost Life in Glenwood, we want to thank everyone for their support and donations. We couldn't have done it without you. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for everything that you have given us through this time. We, it really means a lot to us and has really brightened our spirits. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Your attendance and support this evening are extremely important. Here's your chance to really help On With Life make giant strides. We've already received several bids on the silent auction items, and the bidding will be open until 7 o'clock, so keep bidding. And we have a total of five auction items up for live bid tonight. These items were released for bidding this evening at the start of the event, <clears throat> and you have just a short amount of time left to bid. 
Bid often, bid high, and remember what your money is supporting. So, uh, Andrea, should we run through some of the live bidding Let's that we're going to do? Let's talk about it. Well, the first one is a premium luxury New York City stay. It's a $3,500 value. You enjoy a week stay in a one bed, one and a half bed, bath, luxurious, luxurious, excuse me, New York City high rise at 605 West 42nd Street, floor 64 of 71 overlooking the Hudson River. Located in Hell's Kitchen at the heart of Midwest, Midtown West, near New York's best restaurants, the High Line, Hudson River Park, and the Intrepid Museum. Stay any week until January 15, 2021, valid on holidays as well. This was donated by our friends Kathy, or Carrie and Josh Dixon. Have you ever been to New York City, Andrea? It's been a, long, a while, but yes. It's exciting. It's a fun town. I just remember my family went out there because my son was singing out there. And it was so unique because there was so much hustle and bustle. My daughter said, I don't know how anybody could live out here. And I said to her, that's why you visit. There were very <laughs> exactly. w amazing words of wisdom. Would you not concur? I would agree. Okay. <laughs> Premium number two. $2,500 value from Country Landscapes. This will be a gift certificate for products or services at Country Landscapes. And this was donated by our friends at Country Landscapes. And I don't know if you know this, but they did my backyard. Did they? Yes. It's a sanctuary. Did you purchase one of these at an On With Life no. fundraiser previously? No. They paid full retail for the darn thing, but happy to do it. They, were, they did a wonderful job. <clears throat> Number three is an Orlando vacation home. This is an $1,800 value. You enjoy a six-night stay at this stylish and modern luxury pool home. The vacation home features five bedrooms, five and a half baths, and sleeps 15 people with a swimming pool, attached hot tub, tub, and a game room. It's approximately five miles from Disney World and sits on Reunion Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. Now, there are a couple exclusions in uh, booking, including November, December, March, and April, but the, uh, it does uh, go all the way through October 31st of 2021. Megan and Rocky Anderson donated this. Have you been to Disney World? I have. Did you say Kissimmee or Kissimmee? I probably didn't even mess that up. I probably messed that up even worse than I don't that. think you did. I think that uh, when I heard that you had said it, that you had said it right. But, of course, always fun to be down there. And there are other parks as well, including, uh, let's see, Universal Studios. I think we went there. I, my favorite is SeaWorld. SeaWorld's a good one. I made up a song. Let's hear it. No, we'll do it later. <laughs> <coughs> Premier number four. This is a great getaway weekend. This is an $800 value. You enjoy a weekend getaway for two at Riverside Casino and Golf Resort in Riverside. This is just south of Iowa City. It includes one night stay, two free buffets at Robert's Buffet for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, two rounds of golf at Blue Top Ridge, a $100 gift card to the spa at Riverside Resort, and a luxury vehicle plus gas. And it expires October 31st, 2021. This has been donated by our friends at Willis Automotive and Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. I have been by there. I've never been there. It's a good spot. Is it? Our family is, doesn't live too far, so we do get there occasionally. <clears throat> That's quite nice. And I hear it's wonderful. And i got to tell you, a great, great shout-out to those fine folks that uh, donated this. Absolutely. And last and certainly not least, a big deal last year when I was on the auction. This is a Midwest mattress. This is an $800 value. Now, this is Restonics Comfort Care Lakeview Ultra Plush Blends, the Feel of, of Buoyant, Ultra Premium Latex, and Pressure Relieving Gel Infused Memory Foam with firm support. It includes free Metro delivery and setup. They are included, and the option is to upgrade to a king size. This is uh, donated by our friends at Midwest Mattress. Were you at the auction last year? It was. This was a big deal. It was. And then what he did is, is that he did something nice, and then he did another one. But I remember when I was auctioning this, I got really tired. Yeah. Because well, it was a mattress. All you're talking about is a mattress. <laughs> <You're trying to laughs> sleep. I think that I'm really funny. i got to tell you, that was one of my better jokes. I think I used that last year, so I'm just reciting that. So, again, just understand that if you win a bid on any of the auction items at about 15 minutes following the event, you will see a cart that will appear for you in the event portal. You will be able to check out up until 9 o'clock tonight. If you aren't able to check out this evening, your card on file will be automatically processed by 3 p.m. You will receive a message regarding pickup if you are the winner. You can grab your items at the On With Life corporate office tomorrow and or arrange for pickup the following week. You know, we've saved the most important part of our program for the end. And to conclude this evening, let's take a few minutes to reflect on the mission of On With Life and how it plays such an important part in the journey of those impacted by brain injury or neurological condition. You've heard from Chase, Danielle, and Samantha. 
With your support, On With Life helps individuals like these, these three and so many others uh, that, that get with On With Life and that can get with On With Life and back to the things they enjoy doing with, before their injury and throughout their re rehabilitation journey, having a support system to be. So, again, we've got you back, and uh, now we've got some special guests, and I understand they're your family. They are. Uh, here from Cedar Rapids area are my brother Ryan and our mom, Patty. I'm glad they could join us this evening. You know, it's wonderful to obviously have you all here, and the goal tonight is to raise $15,000 in support of those who support every person served in rehab. You know, we're raising funds for things such as food, gas, and lodging for family members. This could include coffee gift cards for caregivers while the loved one is in therapy appointment, lunch gift cards for family members, gas cards to help get per persons uh, served therapy, and uh, On With Life is working for a plan on a new family housing. But you know, there is something your family is very familiar with, right, Andrea? That's true. So tell us what it meant to oh, your family. Well, thanks for saying for thanks for that, Rick. Uh, after introducing you to Ryan and, and my mom, you know, we really can't thank On With Life enough for everything they've done for our family. Uh, my mom, Patty, who spent quite a few months there with Ryan, maybe you can talk a little bit about what your experience was in those months at On With Life. Well, we, I was very fortunate that the family house was there for me, and I was able to stay with Ryan the full time he was at On With Life and work with the staff and work with Ryan so that when it was time for Ryan to come home and go on with his life, we were prepared. They had made it the best they could to help us move on with his life and on with our family life. Ryan, what was your favorite part of about On With Life? Hanging out with my mom, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I was going wherever she was pushing me. Well, that was awesome. That was awesome. And needless to say, those are some of the toughest times you'll ever challenge. But then, of course, that day that you get to drive away, realizing how far you guys have come. This is, uh, again, this is why we have this event, because there's so many success stories like this. And needless to say, it's one of those things to where it just brings great joy to us of those that have attended in the past, and obviously those that get to attend virtually tonight. So. You know, even at the beginning, we had a few little hiccups here, but we were not to be deterred. And uh, I think you both are getting paid overtime for coming tonight since we did get started. <laughs> I tonight. think we are. Yeah, yeah. So and I'll we'll be buying them dinner. Smart, smart. I was eating back there. Were you really? <laughs> I didn't know. Did they have treats back there? There were some. I'll be darned. Okay. You know, I think uh, you all know that supporting this evening's event and how much we appreciate, obviously, the opportunities to have family like yours and, and obviously to help us understand how you navigated this journey. And it was a big challenge. Um, you know, we're raising funds in support of On With Life staff members as well. The staff and the person serve, form bonds, and often become like family. And when you think about the current pandemic and visitors' restrictions being in place, staff becomes even more not only are they there to do their job, but they are there to support and love the ones that they serve. It's got to be a challenge to work in health care these days, and I can only imagine that our community would want to do what they can to support the On With Life employees, whether it be a pizza party or a chair massage or maybe even some PPE. But, um, you know, Ryan, uh, obviously you got to deal with a lot of staff. What's your uh, thoughts? Uh, were, they, were they decent to hang around with? Very. Uh, I love my, the staff. Um, mentor Mike was probably one of my favorites with... Uh, Oh, what, I can't, I'm trying to remember what, what they did, but every Friday he had like a group where we all got together and hung out and eat and do, I just talk about the week. And it's amazing because every day there's always something to look forward to. And they're obviously challenging you because they know that you can get better and uh, they're an important part of your stay, needless to say. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And you know, it's kind of exciting to have you here because again, uh, this is one of the many success stories that uh, that we have seen, and you know, Patty. Again, you you told a, you know told a great story, but uh, obviously, I assume you had some good uh, good recollection of staff as well. I did, and they became my friends, my family. They supported us in everything that we wanted to do and that Ryan wanted to do, and we can't thank them enough for again helping us to move on after on with life. Because I would not have been able to take Ryan home without all this help and support that they gave us. And you had some neat outings, I understand. Yes. You got to, you, and you, where did you go? Went to Danny Alba's car show, uh, museum. Yep, yep. And your favorite car? Um, it was a Chrysler or Chevy. It was a Chevy. <laughs> yeah. I think he had more than one there, if I remember right. Yeah. Had a whole darn barn full. I, I, there's a 55 Corvette there that he got. I, I was very fond of, but then he had a couple old tractors there, and then he had that, uh, 
that one uh, piece of equipment that I guess was in the Rose Bowl parade that he's running around Ankeny as well. But yeah, those are those are a whole lot of fun, and um, yeah, it's, it, it's a good time there. Any place else? Did you go to the fair? Yeah, I went to Iowa State Fair. I eat a lot at the fair. Oh, I I think my mom told me I ate too much. Did she? <laughs> Did you have a pork chop on a stick? That's my favorite. Oh uh, no, I was oh eating. My God, I love the pork chop. Deep fat fried Snickers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cheese curds. <laughs> I was pretty much eating whatever was unhealthy. Oh. Patty, did you have anything fun there at the fair with him or not? I was trying, but yeah. Ryan decided Ryan most of it all. was his, yeah. What a bogarter he <laughs> yeah. is. Just I had to wait. Food. Ah, man. I tell you what. And Andrea, did you get to go with him or not? I didn't go to that outing that time, um, although I have had some fun fair experiences myself. But you have? Uh, for deep fried Snickers? Uh, corn dogs for me. Oh, my God. Yeah, but. I think you got you have to do the corn dog, pork chop on a stick. Then you got to have the cheese curds, and then of course, then you've got to get the uh, nutty bar. Oh yeah. And then some people go do the grinders and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. We did take you to another concert one time at Brenton Skating Plaza, and I oh, don't recall did. who was playing that time. We went with Ashley and our cousins yeah. that live in town, and you you got to do some pretty fun things when yeah. we were. At it was on Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. I was think it really? That's who it was. Mm. That's a good band. Was it? Good tunes. Wasn't that? Good. That was who it was. Yeah. And you guys, of course, uh, on the farm, and you said that you're currently just basically doing row crop at this time? Um, yes, crop, crop farming right now. Yep. And um, hopefully some of the boys will eventually move into that position, and maybe Ryan will be decide that's what he wants to do. And you did. You said you farrowed hogs there for uh, uh, you many, many years. Yes. And then I told you about my hog farrowing story. And you did. Yes, <laughs> going to church, smelling like the yes. barn, which is always nice when you're sitting yes. next to your one of your friends and you smell like the barn. But anyway, yes, your favorite animal on the far, farm, Ryan? Oh yeah, it was pigs, pretty much. So I love pigs. <laughs> I used to spend time with pigs, and I'll tell you, love pigs. They were my favorite <laughs> animal. Very smart animals, as you know. And. Uh, yeah. The worst day of the life, though, was when, before we'd uh, let them out of the farrowing star, we'd uh, put a ring in their nose. And you only get to do that to a hog one time, and then from then on, they are skittish as heck, and uh, they're not fun. But who would want a ring in their nose, correct? Correct. Yeah. That's what you get married for. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Okay. I want to thank... <laughs> Man, that was a good one. I didn't see that one coming. You know, um, let me see where we at here. Okay. So, we need your help to support those that support persons served. What do, you, what do you say? If you're willing to help, simply find the donate section of your screen and click through. There are some suggested levels with examples of what that amount could support. And no amount is too small or too large. All donations are 100% tax deductible as allowed by law. And if you don't see a specific donation level you're interested in, then click and donate Click the donate button in the upper right hand of the event portal screen and add a custom amount. While you get your donations in, we will we will get Jean back up and uh, she's going to share her appreciation. What a great night. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support of On With Life, an organization that means so much to so many people like Chase, Danielle, Samantha, and so many others. Exactly, Rick. And you know what? I have the privilege of serving as the CEO for On With Life and I get to see every day the stories and the miracles that occur. I cannot tell you how proud I am of this organization and how pleased and privileged I feel to be in this role. So thank you all for your support. We have a bold vision. We want On With Life to be more and more in terms of supporting our community and the persons we serve. And your assistance is what will make that happen. So thank you very much. Well, we're coming to a close, at least for this part of the auction. Some of you may realize that we had some technical difficulties, and it's just kind of the way the year went. But by gosh, we, we huddled through it, and we, we're here, and we're excited about this great opportunity that we provided. But the auction part will close at 8 p.m., and if you want to bid on auction items, uh, you will see a cart that appears on the screen. You can check this out this evening. And then if you aren't able to check out this evening, your card on file will be automatically processed by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Now, winners of these various auction items can pick them up at 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow or by appointment during the following week. You will receive more details regarding pickup. If you or someone you know would still like to support Celebrate Life or any family's needs, of course you can still do so. The formal event is ending, but the event portal will remain open, as I said, until later this evening. 
And donations are always accepted online at On With Life's website at OWL With Life. Try that again, onwithlife.org. One final reminder, please share your photos using hashtag, hashtag OWL Celebrate Life. How cool is that virtual phone booth, huh? So, on behalf of everybody here tonight, the families that you saw, the great stories you saw, and the successes that we continue to see with On With Life, I want to thank you again for your attendance and support, and I want to wish you all a very good evening and continued great health. Thank you very much.